Hello everybody, Happy New Year's. Welcome to my channel, I'm Mariah. Today's topic is dyslexia. This video is research based. In this video, I will cover what dyslexia is, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment for dyslexia, types of dyslexia, and a list of celebrities who have dyslexia. This video is definitely going to be longer than my other videos. All the information I'm going to present in this video are from five different articles. The first article is titled, What is Dyslexia? And this is from WebMD. Dyslexia is a learning disorder that affects your ability to read, spell, speak, and, sorry, write and speak. Kids who have it are often smart and hardworking, but they have trouble connecting the letters they see to the sounds those letters make. About 5 to 10 percent of Americans have some symptoms of dyslexia, such as slow reading, trouble spelling, and mixing up words. Adults can have this learning disorder as well. Some people are diagnosed early in life. Others do not realize that they have dyslexia until they are older. Kids with dyslexia often have no normal vision and are just as smart as their peers, but they struggle in school because it takes them longer to read. Trouble processing words can, al can also make it hard to spell, write, and speak clearly. What causes dyslexia? It is linked to genes, which is why the condition often runs in families. You are, like, you are more likely to have dyslexia if your parents, siblings, or other family members have it. This condition stems from differences in parts of the brain that process language. Sorry for any clicking. That's my laptop. I use it for my notes, just so you are aware of anyone that doesn't watch my channel. Um, image, imaging scans in people with dyslexia show the areas of the brain that should be active when a person reads do not work properly. When children learn to read, they first figure out what, so what sounds each letter makes. For example, B makes the B sound and M makes the M sound. Then they learn how to put these, put these sounds in, sorry, put these sounds in order to form a word like C-A-T or C-A-T, spells cat. Um, finally, they um, have to figure out what words mean. Cat is a furry animal that meows. For, for kids who have dyslexia, the brain has a hard time connecting letters with the sounds they make and then blending these sounds into words. So, if someone, so to someone with dyslexia, the word cat might read as tack. Because of these mix-ups, reading can be slow and a difficult process. Dyslexia is different for everyone. Some people have a mild form of it that they eventually learn how to manage, and others have a little more trouble overcoming it. Even if children are able to, or sorry, e sorry, even if children aren't able to fully outgrow dyslexia, they can still go to college and succeed in life. Dyslexia symptoms and causes. And this is from the Mayo Clinic website. People with dyslexia have normal intelligence and and usually have normal. Sorry, I read that. Sorry, sorry, I read that twice. Let me re, let me go over this again. People with dyslexia have normal intelligence and usually have normal vision. Children with dyslexia can succeed in school with no with tutoring or a specialized education program. Emotional support also plays an important role. Though there is no cure for dyslexia, early assessment and intervention results in a be in the better outcome. Oh, I'm sorry, in the best outcome. Sometimes dyslexia goes undiagnosed for years and is not recognized until adulthood, but it's never too late to seek help. Symptoms: Signs for dyslexia can be difficult to recognize before a child enters school, but some early cues may indicate a problem. Once your once your child's teacher um, once your child's teacher may be the first to notice the problem. So, uh, severity varies, but the condition often becomes apparent as a child starts learning to read before school, which is means when I say before school, this is before a child enters school or goes into school, like starts kindergarten or preschool or anything, just to clarify that. Signs that a child may be at risk for dyslexia include late talking, learning new words slowly, problems forming words correctly, such as reversing sounds in words, 
or con confusing words that um, sound alike. Problems remembering or naming letters, color, sorry, letters, numbers, co and colors. Difficulty learning nursery rhymes or playing nursery rhyme games. School age. Once your child is in school, dyslexia signs or, and symptoms may become more apparent, including reading well below their expected level for age, problems processing and understanding what he or she hears, Pro difficulty finding the right words or forming answers to questions, problems remembering the sequence of things, difficulty seeing and or and in and occasionally hearing similarities and differences in letters and words, inability to sound out the pronunciation of an unfamiliar word, difficulty spelling, spending an unusually long time completing tasks that involve reading or writing, and avoiding activities that in, sorry, involve reading. Teens and adults. Dyslexia signs in teens and adults are similar to those in children. Some of the common dyslexia signs and symptoms in teens and adults include difficulty reading, including reading out loud, slow and labored intensive reading and writing, problems spelling, avoiding activities that involve reading, mispronouncing names or words or problems retrie retrieving words, trouble understanding jokes or expressions that have a meaning not easily understood from a specific from sorry specific words or idioms such as a piece of cake which means which is the same as a meaning for easy spending an unusual long unusually long time completing tasks that involve reading and writing difficulty summarizing a story trouble learning a foreign language difficulty memorizing difficulty doing math problem when to see a doctor. Though most children are ready to learn reading by kindergarten or first grade, children with dyslexia often cannot grasp the basics of reading by that time. Talk to your doc doctor if your child's reading level is below what is expected for his or her age um, and if you notice other signs of dyslexia. When dyslexia goes undiagnosed or untreated, childhood reading difficulties continue into ch adulthood. Causes. Dyslexia tends to run in families. It appears to be linked to, to certain genetics that affect how the brain processes reading and language as well as risk factors in the environment. Risk factors. I'm so sorry about that. This risk factors include, this, uh, sorry, dyslexia risk factors include a family history of dyslexia or a, another learning, dis, and, oh, sorry, and, an, and other learning disabilities premature birth or low birth weight, exposure during pregnancy to nicotine, drugs, alcohol, or infection that may alter brain development in the fetus, individual differences in the parts of the brain that enable reading, complications. Dyslexia can lead to a number of problems, including trouble learning because, the, because reading is a basic school skill to most other school subjects. A child with dyslexia is added disadvantage in most classes and may have trouble keeping up with their peers. Social problems. Left untreated, tr left untreated dyslexia may lead to low self-esteem, behavioral problems, anxiety, aggression, and withdrawal from friends, parents, and teachers. Problems as adults. The, in the inability to read and comprehend can prevent a child from reaching his or her potential as the child grows up. This can have long-term educational, educational, social, and economic consequences. Children who have dyslexia, dyslexia are at an increased risk for having attention deficit hyperactive disorder, or ADHD, and vice versa. ADHD can cause a difficulty sustaining attention as well as hyperactive and impulsive behavior, which can make dyslexia harder to treat. Dyslexia Diagnosis and Treatment, and this is also from the Mayo Clinic website. Diagnosis. There is no single test to diagnose dyslexia. A number of factors are considered a number of factors are considered such as your child's development, educational issues, and medical history. The doctor may, 
will likely actor ask you questions about the areas about these areas and want to know about any conditions that run in the family, including whether a family any family members have a, a learning disability. The, they'll ask about your home life. And the doctor may ask for a description of your family and home, including who lives at your home or whether there are any problems at home. Questionnaires. The doctor may have your child, family members, and teachers answer written questions. Your child may be asked to take tests to identify reading and language abilities. Vision and hearing and brain, sorry, vision, hearing, and brain or neurological tests. These can help determine whether there's whether another disorder may be causing or adding to your child's poor reading ability. Psychological testing. Doctors may ask you and your child questions to better understand your child's mental health. Um, this can help determine whether social problems, anxiety, or depression may be limiting your child's abilities. Testing reading and other academical, ac- sorry, academic skills. Your child may take a set of educational tests and have process, sorry, and have processing qu- qualities for for reading skills analyzed by a reading expert treatment there is no known there is no known way to correct an underlying brain or brain abnormality that it causes dyslexia dyslexia is a lifelong problem however early detection and evaluation to determine specific needs and appropriate treatment can um, improve success educational techniques dyslexia is treated using specific educational approaches and techniques and the and the sooner the intervention the better psychological testing will help your child teacher develop a suitable teaching program teachers may use techniques involving reading sorry involving hearing vision and touch to improve reading skills helping your child uses several senses to learn to learn to learn sorry Helping a child use several senses to learn. For example, hearing, to, sorry, listening to a taped lesson or tracing a finger, the, sorry, tracing with the finger the shape of the letters used and spoken words can help in processing the information. Treatment focused on helping your child learn to recognize and use smaller sounds that make up the words and I already apo- I apologize in advance for any mistakes I make right here because there are words behind the definition and this one I think is phoneme I'm not sure if that's right I'm sorry if it's wrong um but I tried understand the letters and s- string of letters um representing the sounds and words and that's that's phonics read out loud to build reading accuracy, speed, and and expression, and that's fluency. Build a vocabulary of recognized and understood words. If available, tutoring services with reading specialists can be helpful for many children with dyslexia. If your child has a severe reading disability, tutoring may um, may need to occur more frequently and progress may be slower. Um, Educational, sorry. Individual Education Plan, or an IEP. In the United States, schools have a legal obligation to take steps to help children diagnosed with dyslexia with their learning problems. To talk to your child's teacher about setting up a meeting to create a structured written plan that outlines your child's needs and how the, the school will help him or her succeed. This is called an Individualized Educational Plan, or an IEP. Early Treatment. Children with dyslexia who have who get extra help in kindergarten and first grade often improve their reading schools enough to succeed in grade school and high school. Children who do, do, don't help, sorry, who don't get help until later ages may have more difficulty learning the skills needed to read well. They are more. They are likely to lag behind uh, academically and never be able to catch up. A child with severe dyslexia may never have an easy time reading, but he or she can learn skills to improve reading and develop strategies to improve school performance and quality of life. What a parent can do. You can. You play a key 
role in your child's success. Take these steps. Address the problem early. If you suspect your child has dyslexia, talk to your child's doctor. Early, early intervention can improve success. Read out loud to your child. It is best if you read. Well, sorry, it is, it is best if you start when your child is six months old or even, or even younger. Try listening to recorded books with your child. When your child is old enough, read the stories together as your child hears them. And sorry, after your child hears them. Work with your child's school. Talk to your child's teacher and um sorry, talk to your child's teacher about how the school will help him or her succeed. Your child you're your child's best advocate. Encourage reading time. To improve reading skills, a child must practice reading. Encourage your child to read. Set up sorry, set up examples for reading. Sorry, set example for reading. I said that wrong. Designate a time each day to read something of your own while your child reads. It sets example and supports your child's. Show your child that reading can be enjoyable. What what adults with dyslexia can do. Success in the in success in employment can be difficult for adults with dyslexia. To help to help achieve your goals. Um, Seek evaluation and instructional help with reading and writing, regardless of age. Ask for additional training and reasonable accommodations from your employer or academic institution under the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA. Academic problems don't necessarily mean a person with dyslexia can't succeed. Capable students with dyslexia can be highly successful given the right resources. Many people with dyslexia are creative, bright, and may be gifted in math, science, or arts. Some even have successful writing careers. Coping and support. Emotional, emotional support and opportunities for achievement in activities that don't involve reading are important for children with dyslexia. If your child has dyslexia, be supportive. Trouble learning to read may affect your child's self-esteem. Be sure to express your love and support encourage your child by praising his or her talents and strengths talk to your child explain to your child what dyslexia is and that it's not a personal failure the better your child understands this the better he or she will be able to cope with their having a learning disability take the steps to help your child learn at home provide a clean quiet organized space for your child to study and designate study time also make sure your child has enough Rest and eat healthy meals. Limit screen time. Limit electronic screen time each day and use extra time for reading practice. Stay in contact with your child's teachers. Talk to teachers frequently and make sure your child is able to stay on track. If needed, make sure he or she gets the extra time for tests that require reading. Ask the teacher if if it would help your child to record the lessons, I mean the day's lessons to play back later. So join a support group. This can help you stay in contact with your with parents who ha- whose children face similar learning disabilities. Prepare for your appointment. You may first bring concern bring your concerns to your child's pediatrician and family doctor to ensure that another problem isn't the root of your child's uh, reading disabilities. The, the doctor may refer you to a specialist such as a eye doctor or an ophthalmologist. A healthcare prof- professional trained to evaluate hearing, which is an audio- audiologist, a doctor who specializes in brain and neurological, s- sorry, neurolo- neuro- nervous system disorders, which is neurologist, which is a neurologist, a doctor that specializes in central ner- the central nervous system and behavioral in behavior is a neuro psychologist doctors who specialize in children development abilities and behavior is a developmental and behavioral pediatrician you um you may want to ask a family member or friend to come along it um if possible for support and to help you remember information here here's some information uh to help you prepare for your appointment what you can do before your appointment, make a list of symptoms that your child is, your child is experiencing. 
um, when symptoms that, sorry, and ages when symptoms that may seem unrelated to the reason of the appointment. Key, inf uh, key present information involving any stresses or recent life changes. Any medications, um, vitamins, herbs, or any supplements your child is taking, including the dosage. Ask questions your doc. Ask questions your doctor. To sorry, ask your ask questions to your doctor to help you make the best of your appointment. Some questions uh, to ask your doctor may include: What do you think is the cause of my child's difficulty with reading and understanding? Um, are there an, there any other diagnosis? that can be associated with or confused with dyslexia are there t any t kinds of tests that what kind of tests do, does my child need should my child see a specialist how to treat dyslexia how quickly will we see progress uh, should other family members get tested be tested for dyslexia too feel free to ask any other questions during their appointment and these are some questions these are not the whole list of the questions what to expect from your doctor. Your doctor is likely to ask you a number of questions. Be ready to answer them to, to reserve time to go over any points uh, you want to focus on. Your doctor may ask, when did you first notice that your child was having uh, trouble with reading? Did, your, did the teacher bring it to your attention? What is your child doing academically in the class? I mean, sorry, how is your child doing academically in the classroom? At what age did your child start talking? Have you tried any reading intervention? If so, which ones? Have you noticed any behavior problems or social difficulties you may suspect be linked to your child's trouble reading? Has your child had any vision problems? And this is the types of dyslexia. And this is from the read, sorry, the read and speak website. Based on this article, it seems that there are six types of dyslexia, but there could be more. more. The first one is phonological dyslexia. Did you know that 75% of people who have dyslexia experience in sorry, experience a break in communication? Sorry, let me read that again. Did you know that 75% of people who have dyslexia experience break in communication in individual sounds? Yeah, I didn't know that. Every language has a set of common sounds that it uses that it reuses over and over again to form words. People with dyslexia have no trouble producing and processing the sounds that they need to speak their native language. Difficulty comes with identifying the individual sounds that make up a word. And this is that's what I struggle with. Surface dyslexia. Some individuals who experience surface dyslexia, um, which can cause them to to take longer to process language when they move beyond the decoding stage. Not all, not all words are spelled as they sound in English. Um, and sometimes we meet a word that gives us, um, sorry, let me read that again. Not all words are spelled as they sound in English. Sometimes we meet a word that gives us, as gives us, sorry, meet a word that gives us as it is pronounced it can be it can happen to all native speakers of english which is why we memorize irregular spelling of a word irregular spelling so a word can be recognized when we next encounter when it is next encountered children with surface dyslexia have trouble seeing the whole word this causes comprehension difficulties and greater increases processing time related for sorry required for reading vision visual dyslexia symptoms often include trouble reading and mem and remembering what has been seen on a page that um, that's because of all the types of dyslexia visual dyslexia impacts visual processing which means the brain does not receive the full picture of what the eyes are seeing this can Severely um, can have severe implications on learning to form letters as well as master spelling, a process in which remembering the correct letter sequences in word is key. Primary dyslexia. 
The primary label uh, refers to dyslexia when it results as a genetically inherited condition. This means if a child has a parent with dyslexia, they are more likely to have the learning difficulty themselves. Primary dyslexia can be um, cause difficulties processing sounds, letters, and numbers, which negatively impacts a child's ability in spelling, reading, and math. Dyslexia not only runs in families, but it tends to be seen more often in males, particularly those with who are left-handed. Secondary slash um, developmental dyslexia um, due to due to infection and sometimes poor nutrition in the womb. Some babies experience brain developmental issues that can cause neurological impairment and result in dyslexia. Um, of the many of the many types of dyslexia, secondary or developmental has been shown to respond best to treatment, in, um, including targeted phonics work through pro, um, computer programs and traumatic dyslexia, also referred to as acute dyslexia. Um, when a, ch- a adult or child has a brain injury from trauma or disease, they can often develop difficulty with language processing, which can result in dyslexia. And the last article that I used for this is for so and it was called it was actually titled um, "Celebrities with Dyslexia, ADHD, and I think um, Calculatora or some other thing." I'm sorry if it's not right, but I used it was from the Understood website, and I took these names off there, off of there. Um, we have Whoopi Goldberg. She has dyslexia, and she's a comedian, talk show host, and actress. Steven Spielberg is a, who's a film director. I actually read about each of their little things in there, and he didn't get diagnosed with dyslexia until he was in his sixties, which is kind of insane. Okay, um, we have Cher, who's an actor, actress, and a singer. Um, Olivia Spencer, um, she's an actress. Tim Tebow, he's a former NFL quarterback, and I read about him. And he his his dad and his brother have dyslexia, so it ran runs in the family. Um, we have Hen- Henry Winkler. He's an actor, director, and an author. Kieran Knightley. She's an actress. Um, Anderson Cooper. He's an he's a CNN news ac- um anchor. And Jamie Oliver. He's a celebrity chef. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was so long and all of my mistakes. I will put my notes in the comment section, as always, because I know not everything here is clear. I will post all the articles that I used in this video in the in the um, video description box along with a brief video description. As always, I'm open to any future video topics that, that you have. Please let me know what they are in the comment section below or on my Twitter page. And my Twitter handle is at Burley, Mar- Burley Mariah, and I can spell it for you at B-U-R-L-E-Y-M-A-R-I-A-H. My next video is going to be on muscular dystrophy. I hope that everyone's continuing to stay safe, and I want you to know I'm praying for you, your families, and the world. I'll post my notes in the comment section for anyone who needs them, as I said earlier. Please like, share, and subscribe if you uh, want to and found this video to be helpful. Uh, Feel free to share this video with anyone you think might need it. If you want to know when I do any live stream or upload any new content, um, you're going to want to click the bell icon and select the all um, option button under the bell icon. Thanks for watching, everybody. I love you guys. Bye!